And welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Yes, the Black Stars team. What is the latest from their camp? Currently, they are in Ivory Coast. As I brought you an update yesterday on this channel, and the team they have already held their first training session. How many players were involved? What are the details? Let's talk about it in this video. Now, Black Stars team yesterday on their arrival, we saw them wearing beautiful, um, you know, I would say a mini kaftan with some kente on it. Everything was so, so beautiful. And you know, Ghana and Nigeria already, that beef is there. So, Nigeria, they also appeared in a beautiful kaftan with their, um, you know, hats. Everything was so, so on point. And Ghanaians, the Nigerians, they were all fighting on the social media. This one is more beautiful than the other. A whole lot of things. We'll talk a little on that. I'll also share some more videos from the Black Stars team arrival and more for you. In this video, players, they are reacting on the AFCON. Majid Ashimeru has spoken. Inyaki Williams, he has also posted something. We will check it out in this video. Then we will also talk about five things. Five that I think Coach Chris Hutton he should do on this Black Stars team. Chris Hutton yesterday, he was also super, you know, the father of the house. His um, kinti, everything was also spot on. And we will talk about five things that he need to do on this current Black Stars team. For us to do well in the AFCON. We have two days for the AFCON to begin in Ivory Coast. And Black Stars, we have three days to, for us to play our first game against Kivet. That is going to be on Sunday, but the AFCON will actually begin on Saturday. So, let's talk about all this and more. Before then, anytime you join me, guys, you know how we do it on this channel. Take your time and drop us a like for me. Like the video after liking. If you are new, subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notification because we have amazing content for you coming up your way on this channel. We will also be joining the Black Stars team very soon in Ivory Coast so that we bring you more updates from them. Kindly leave your thoughts and comments in the comment box. I also try and give shout out to those who commented under the last video in this one. So stick and stay for that. This video is also brought to you in collaboration with Pay Angel Money Transfer. Pay Angel Money Transfer anywhere you are based in Europe or Canada and you want to send money to someone in Ghana here or any part of Africa, just visit payangel.com. I'll leave the link in the video description and the comment box. Click it, go there, sign up right now, use Oskenia as your referral. And if you use Oskenia as your referral, you'll be given a bonus for yourself. Anytime you send money, it is also free of charge. So take this opportunity, go there, sign up, and start sending money. We have the best exchange rate on the market. We have the fastest payout, and we've been in the system for about 10 years. Pay and money transfer is the place to send all your transactions through if you are busy in Europe or Canada. Quickly, let's jump into it. In fact, let's just begin from here because yesterday the Black Stars team arrived in Ivory Coast, Abidjan, and the World Camp was super, super, super. In fact, if you enjoy it, you get to know that yes, the team, they were welcomed really well. The players were excited. All the 27 players were in camp we all know that last player who joined was kudus Mohammed. he has also trained already so yesterday he joined them in training i'll talk about that but upon the arrival pictures and everything showed that yes the team they really went there was so yes these are some of the few pictures and videos i'll be rolling them here so that you check it out as they arrived i don't want to really delay showing all those things i know you you might have watched one or two from somewhere as well as the updates i brought to you on this channel yesterday so yes the players arrived very well and we wish them all the best. All what we need is after dressing this really beautifully, go there and do well for the nation. That is what we want. Even if you are not bringing the trophy home, go there and perform well. You don't have bad players. If you look at the ringers we have, even the defenders, midfielders, we have quality players. If we can put them together well, map up a strategy that will actually sell well, we can do well in the AFCON. So yes, upon arriving this way, the Nigerians, they also dressed really beautifully. In fact, the Ghana's owner rated like, let's say, um, 9 over 10. Well, it was spot on for me. Um, how they were actually able to put on the Kente wall. Everything was intact. Looking at their Rolex. In fact, the players, well, they are chopping money, you guys. So, yes, that is it. Now, the Nigerians, as I said already, they also came beautifully as they also stomped Ivory Coast. And um, the interesting thing is Ghana and Nigeria we are going to be in the same hotel. That is Puma Hotel in Abidjan. So, we, we saw the likes of Victor Osimen. Yes, is a full kaftan. Ghana's own was somehow a mini kaftan with um, the kente. So when they were leaving Ghana or when they were departing, they were in the mini kaftan. When they arrived in Ivory Coast, then they added the kente to it, which was great for me. Then Nigeria, they also came with their kaftan. So which one do you think is spot on for you? Nigeria also rates them, um, you know, like 9 over 10. I think it's, it's, it's all great. It's all great. Looking at how the embroidery was, the players' names were written. The Victor Simon was VO, Moses Simon MS, like everything was spot on. So yes, I think Ghana, Nigeria, we are all selling our culture 
to the world because yesterday i saw bbc posting every like all the big platforms they were posting ghana nigeria and the other nations in fact this time around zambia is also coming beautifully um congo every nation is coming representing their colors and it is really beautiful in ivory coast so that is it on the black stars arrival now immediately the team arrived in ivory coast then we had inyaki williams who took to his official x account that is formerly called twitter he posted hello ivory coast we are already here then he added the ghana flag and the dancing um skills everything so he liked that dancing skills if you follow inyaki williams so yes that is it so he also posted yesterday he was looking beautiful yes so that is it i'll say handsome you know he's a man but the dressing was beautiful and the man is also a handsome man so yes that is it now majida shimeru also said something which was reported by flash score um he was asked about what he, he's expecting in this afcon and this is what majida shimeru has to say on his target for the afcon my aim with the national team is to make sure we come out as the best nation in this tournament he says that his aim is to make sure that black stars will come out as the best nation meaning that his aim is for ghana to win the trophy because if you want to be the best you must beat the best to become the best so if you are the best that means you are going to leave the trophy let's see how things open out it's one player that i think coach chris Hitting must start him i also talk about that as well so this is what actually pan out in the black stars arrival and more now yes let me actually talk about you know the five things i'm expecting coach chris Hutin to do in the current black star squad but i'll also be rolling the training pictures and everything for you here so that you enjoy it and um let me speak on the training so that when i'm talking about it then the pictures will be rolling for you to see how things pan out on the training ground so yes yesterday i spotted all the 27 players in fact and 27 was somehow ill but he trained in ghana here before leaving so right now i think he's fit to play and um we also had salis abdul summit for him yesterday on the left wrist i saw some kind of you know will i say pop or something on the left then after that um his left knee but yesterday i think it was okay he trained with the team then um which player again yes i think that's all then kudus Mohammed, he also trained with the team yesterday i saw him doing some drills and everything the gfd have posted a full video on their channel so you can also go and check it out for yourself so all the 27 players i spotted them training yesterday and that is a piece of good news for all Ghanaians. they are there and they are geared for action so you will be checking out the pictures here as i speak about the five things i think coach chris hutin he must do on the current black star squad number one chris hutin must play one defensive midfielder one dm that is what i want to see in the current black star squad he doesn't want to always go with the two dms as he has been doing because it doesn't help the team to progress it doesn't help us to attack very well always we have either babai drisu the elisha who so no one is a typical ball progressor then the team will always be defending i think he must work on that for the black stars team to go forward as a nation so coach chris hutin if you're watching me or you get to watch this video play one dm there are some petty petty things you need to do in the team that will help us to progress well number two chris hutin must work assiduously on poor first half performances and the coach chris hutin I've, I've told you already on this channel 10 matches he has scored one goal in first half and even that goal came from a set piece that was the goal that Mohamed Kuru scored against Central African Republic in Kumase aside that we've never scored an open play goal in first half under coach Chris Hilton including a friendly games anything so that is it also on the coach he must work on the first half we don't always have to go and try to contain the team try to sit back and um, you know try to contain the pressure before we open up no because if you always want to start playing around 68 minutes there are some countries that will punish you in the first half by 20 minutes Minutes they, they, they will be done with you they'll score you two nil three nil and you'll be done just like what usa did to ghana by 20 minutes or so they had already scored five goals and that was it and four goals and that ended the game so yes that is it also on coach chris hutin work on the first half performances it is so 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 poor three chris hutin must make sure the black stars team presses well as a unit as well let me put it that way because if you look at the current black star squad we don't really press well we, when you lose possession you will just see that some of the players will be like basically moving around the pitch and they will not join pressing sometimes Nick williams will press alone and he will also feel tired and twice a he will press anytime he's in the game but as a unit how well do we put the pressure on the opponent to make sure that we are pressing um and getting the balls he must work on that coach chris hutin if you're watching me make sure you work on it number four 
play the right players at their favorite positions. I've been saying this time and again that player like Inyaki Williams needs to be played as a right winger. Then um, some of you know few of them recently has been playing the players at their favorite position, and it is good. But Inyaki Williams, he sees him to be the number nine more than a right winger. But I want him to play him at the right wing. Maybe sometimes he can drift to the left wing during the game, and um, maybe that's it. So these are some of the few updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars. The seven training session done, and they also had a dinner with the presidents and also some other dignitaries who visited them yesterday at the team's hotel so that's it let me know your thoughts in the comment box don't forget to like the video subscribe if you are new let me give a shout out to you guys barack says 365 i appreciate you a lot i've seen you amura jonas is also on this channel prince kofi i appreciate you a lot christopher nanga you are also on this channel then i have an estimate if you appreciate you Amanu Ahankra, you also on this channel. Nikim Bong, Fortune, Bitam, thank you, I appreciate you a lot. Divine, I get that you also here. Stanley GH is here. Auntie Becky, thank you. Rocky Ima is also here. Gabriel Frempon, I appreciate you a lot. Gwame Solomon Intrasip is here. Blueview Capital is present. Ajimeni Belenda is here. Aquaboa, you are here. Mallet Awuku, thank you. Um, K uh, Kofi Great, Kofi Great, you are here. He said that if he fires me, I'll give him shout out. Okay, Kofi Great, after firing him, you uh, shout out his back. Yes, yeah. so Salam Koto, you also here. I appreciate you. Jacob AJ is also on this channel. Then I have Brian, uh, Brian, okay, Brianic Senior, thank you for being here. Britanzi is also on this channel. Up, up Leo, you are also here. Okay, I've seen you. Lochi Beatrice is also on this channel. Azuma Obed is here. J Gaming TV, you are back. Thank you. Boa Makalib is also on this channel. Kent Bonsu. Okay, Kent Bonsu, thank you for being here. Then I have Night TV. Thank you. I appreciate you. Then I have Peggy. Um, okay, Peggy Okum. Thank you. Juma Samson is also on this channel. Emmanuel Brown Lamte, you are also here. I've seen you. Aminu. Aminu Isahak, you are also here. Swanzi Kuje is here. Boache Gabriel, thank you. Two loud earpiece, you're also back. Thank you. So, guys, these are all the comments as of the time I'm recording this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.